Welcome guys, everything new under the sun here. I've got the uh, DHP481Z uh, combi drill here and it uh, requires a particular battery. It is a, a standard battery cartridge. You probably can't see this but I'll read it to you. Specification, standard battery cartridge, uh, the BL1815N model and then it uh, is compatible with the BL1830, the BL1840 and the BL1850. That's the 3 amp, the 4 amp hour, and the 5 amp hour batteries, as well as the 1.5 amp hour batteries, obviously. What I have here is a BL1815. Uh, you may or may not be able to see a 24 watt hour. This is an older Makita 18 volt battery, and I'm not 100% sure what the N stands for, um, but um, this one was an older unit, and it actually wouldn't fit in my new uh, combi drill driver. Um, the reason is. And you may or may not be able to see this. Let's see, I'll see if I can get it, my knife out and point it out. I hope. Let's see, there is. There's not much light there, but there's a little tab in there um, that prevents you actually from inserting the the battery, and it actually blocks access to it. So you get you get your old battery, your old 1.5 amp hour, which you would think would work because all Makita stuff works. And, uh, and it just stops, it just it bumps up against that tab. So what you can do is actually you just, uh, there's a little uh, ditch here, a little area that's uh, been cut out. And uh, actually if you just make a notch in between these uh, two uh, plastic edges here, this is actually where that little tab bumps. And if you take that out, then you can actually retrofit your uh, battery uh, to fit the new drill and uh, then it will uh, go beyond that tab and then you can actually use it and it, there's nothing uh, different about it I mean it works the same um, and uh, like I say I'm not exactly sure what the N stands for maybe it just stands for new uh, but I, I couldn't use my old existing battery on the new tool which is uh, you know kind of the whole point of uh, getting the key to 18 volt set so you can use all your existing batteries on the, the new tools so yeah just uh, you take your knife got my Swiss Army here you just notch that out and you'll see as you try and fit the battery and you'll see where it's bumping and just take a look in there and you can see it and notch that out and then uh, once you get it notched out enough then it will just slide and lock in just like a, any other uh, newer battery um, this particular DHP41Z uh, did not come with a battery. It's a standalone tool uh, because it is their flagship, so it doesn't really come in any combos yet that I know of. Um, not at Home Depot, anyways. And uh, so you do have to have an existing battery there. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show that to you. And if you had old batteries, and that's how you do it. So notch that uh, side out, and you can use your existing batteries with it. So that is it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps somebody. Talk to you later.